Hey everyone, welcome back. This is going to be a quick video showcasing an optimized version of my max damage lava build. This one will be better suited for 2v1 and 3v1 situations, by sacrificing a bit of damage in exchange for survivability and tankiness. If you want to see the max damage version, click the card in the top right. Let's start with the stats. This is a level 140 phase build with the minimal strength and dexterity required to equip our weapons. 60 Vigor, since we intend to trade into enemies, and the rest in Endurance and Mind. For weapons, we will use the Blasphemous Blade and the Magma Blade. The Blasphemous Blade will be useful against long-ranged opponents and when fighting in small spaces or holes, while the Magma Blade is better for 1v1 situations and to defend yourself against group of enemies, since its Ash of War comes out really quickly, catching many people by surprise. And also, if the first hit lands, the rest of the Ash of War will combo as well. For armor, use anything you like that has high resistances and poise. In my case, I use this armor here, which takes us to 103 poise with the Bullgoat's Talisman, and also gives us 4% additional damage with two parts of the Rakshasa set, while still having a decent amount of resistances and taking us just below 70% equip load. Our talismans will be the Bullgoat's Talisman as mentioned before, the Talismans of the Dread that increases the damage of both our Lava Ashes of War by 14%, the Shard of Alexander that further increases our damage by 15%, and the Earth Tree's Favor plus 2 for a bit of health, stamina and equip load. We will use two buffs, Flame Grant Me Strength which increases both physical and fire damage by 15% in PvP, plus some stamina region and Golden Vow for an additional 7.5% damage and 10% increased resistances. In our Physic, we will have the Crimson Bubble tier, which heals us when we are low. This will be great to trick enemies into thinking you're about to die, which usually results in them attacking into you, and the Flame Shouted Crystal tier, which increases our fire damage by 12.5%. Okay, so the good thing about this build is that in comparison to our last build, which focused mainly on damage, here we focus a little bit more on survivability and poise. So in this case we can trade with multiple enemies using the hyper armor of our magma shower. And even without the buffs and all the gear we used for the max damage build, we can still deal a lot of damage. It is also much better for dueling against single phantoms. Since we are not using eruption anymore, we don't have that disadvantage. Eruption wasn't very good in a lot of situations. Here instead we focus only on two options and Magma Shower is basically better on all the situations that eruption was used on. Blasphemous Blade is also extremely good when facing uh, groups of opponents on the small holes. So for example here, we can just uh, point it towards uh, someone who doesn't expect it. And as you can see, this build can still one-shot if you get hit by the Blasphemous Blade. Here we see another example of charging the Ash of War and then turning into another player that doesn't expect it, so that way we can hit it reliably and get a lot of kills with it. The good thing about the Blasphemous Blade is that even if you don't use the Ash of War, you can still use the regular moveset because if it, it's a greatsword, it is very good even for 1v1s. And it also hits like a truck, since we are maximizing faith. Here the enemies line up perfectly in a hallway, just like we wanted, and we get a beautiful double kill here. The other cool thing about Magma Shower is the lava pools that it leaves on the ground. In this case I have two chasing enemies, and if they stand on a pool, you will see how much damage it can deal. Another way to use Blasphemous Blade is when you are fighting a 2v2. So in this case I have an invader friend that is helping me. I go to chase the caster and as soon as I see that he's casting something I counter it with the Flash of War. And 
you can use it to great effectiveness when people are distracted. So in this case, uh, the host is not looking at me, so I get a nice shot. You can try to use the Ash of War also when you know that people are going to trade into you. So in this case, I just try to guess whenever he's going to attack and then use it. You can also quick swap the weapons that you're using if people are already too accustomed to the Blasphemous Blade or either way the Magma Shower as well. In this case this guy is rolling very well so I swap to the Magma Shower really quickly and he doesn't expect it. The Ash of War comes out very quickly. In this invasion I'm trying out the Sword Spear with the Eruption which still can deal a lot of damage even though it's not very useful in some cases. If people trade into you, because we have so much poise now, the hyper armor of the Ash of War will reduce the damage you take even further, so you can use it to trade very effectively. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching until the end and please let me know if you liked the video or if you have any suggestions down in the comments. See you in the next one.